Good morning and welcome to a very sunny day in Patcham. We're here today to have a look around a really beautifully presented and extended four bedroom family home. Now it's situated right in the heart of Patcham. Just over the crest of the hill is a lovely parade of shops with plenty of eateries and the cooperative and a lovely bakery are just at the other end at the bottom of the hill, all within a five minute stroll. Got some fantastic views towards the South Downs from the front entrance way and the top bedrooms and the garden is completely south facing. So lots of quite lovely features of this home. So let's head inside and we'll have a really good look around. So once inside, you've got a very spacious entrance hallway, got this lovely exposed strip black floorboards underfoot. And then how about this for a kitchen family room? So a very large extension was put on by the previous owners, I think roughly five meters off the rear to provide this wonderful entertainment space. Got a log burning stove and these large doors taking you out to the rear garden, which is a completely south facing and just lets that sunlight flood into the main living area. Really tastefully done this extension as well. Very high ceilings, all to accentuate that feeling of space, but also to let as much natural light as humanly possible into the room. Then the kitchen itself is not just for show, it's got uh, incredibly good functionality. Got a large island with those oak work surfaces over top. You've almost got a uh, chef's style extractor hood over that five or six ring gas hob and plenty of integrated appliances. Lovely view there towards the family area. And then just off the side here, tucked away for all those appliances that perhaps you don't want in the main space, this area doubles up. So you've got a, a really high specification shower room downstairs, but you've also then got a further utility space so you can fit a washing machine, dryer, and a little bit more prep space along with a butler sink as well. So really, really useful, handy space tucked off to the side here um, and just take, gives extra space for the main entertaining area. And then we drifted past it on the way in, but then we've got a further living room here to the front, which is far more cozy and has wonderful views out towards the South Downs. We really like the sort of mixture of uh, sort of traditional features, fireplaces, etc., uh, mixed in with the really modern touches and finishes that come with the property. whole window there to the side. So upstairs on the first floor we've got three double bedrooms. This is the smallest of the three. As you can see still fits a double bed with ease and has plenty of space for storage units. Gives you a glimpse of how big that rear extension is. Now if you're looking for schools Patcham is uh, very very well regarded. You've got Patcham Primary, Patcham High, and Carden Primary as well, just to name a few really well-known local schools, all near enough within walking distance. This is the second bedroom, or third. They're all, I say, all doubles. Plenty of built-in storage, and then a very similar story next door, where you've got another further double bedroom with built-in storage. Lovely little blocked-up fireplace there, providing a little bit of character. Now we won't go up there today, but we've also, the current owners about two years ago, I think it was late 2018, they did a very, very large loft extension to provide another double bedroom and uh, also ran all the plumbing for an ensuite to be created. So there, there isn't one there at the moment, but if someone wants to add their own stamp or add an ensuite, that would then provide a either bathroom or shower room on all three floors. As you can see, there is a bathroom uh, servicing these three bedrooms on this floor. So the potential to go even further with this property is very much there, although uh, it really is move in spec. So let's head outside and we'll show you around the exterior of the home. 
so here we are. So we love how it sort of just flows straight out to the garden. Very good proportions of the garden. You've got this area of patio, then onto lawn, but you've also still maintained some side access. I'll just show you that quickly now. So you can still get straight out to the rear garden for workmen or family, friends, dogs. It uh, really works very, very well. And then an area of lawn, which then leads onto a very mature, more formal garden. I wouldn't like to name all the uh, different shrubs in the garden, but I know they've got some roses and various fruit bushes and trees, etc. So um, if you're green fingered, fantastic. But if you're not, it's still of a, of a size that's very manageable. Um, and you know, you can leave it to do its own thing and, and it still comes up really, really nicely in spring. Now the property also benefits from having uh, this rear access, which goes onto a track, which is accessed from the top of Ladies Mile Road. Um, so again, subject to the relevant consents, there could be potentially parking or a garage put in at the rear, which has been done within the road very recently. Of course, there's a big, big greenhouse there as well, which is uh, open to negotiations. So really, really lovely family home, this one. I'm sure we'll get lots and lots of interest. So if you'd like to have a look around, please do give us a call. We'd love to hear from you and see you soon.